Hey, what's up, coders? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have Drumil, the co organization of GDG Ahmedabad, founder of Flutterflix. Hello. Would you like to talk a bit about yourself? So, uh, as Kamal has already introduced me, so apart from that, I'm also uh, working as a startup called Shipment as an associate product and customer success manager. Earlier, I used to work as a mobile developer and I started my journey when Android was 2.1 and since last more than 1.5 years, I'm exploring the Flutter. How you got involved with Flutter? Yeah, so it was like uh, in 2017, uh, in DevFest of GDG Ahmedabad, we invited one speaker named uh, Park Jansari and he was the first Flutter explorer. And we invited him, he delivered a talk on the Flutter when the Flutter was in alpha. And from that day, I got an interest with the Flutter and I started exploring it. So that, so almost two years now it is going to come late. Would you like to talk about Flutterflex? Oh, Flutterflex, so it actually came uh, on my last birthday. So it was an idea about that. Uh, uh, there are a lot of things happening around the Flutter, but it was not get segregated as a single place. So I decided to make it in a single, flex, uh, single place. And why flex is because I want you to give it in on a smaller amount. Just like, you know, it's just a two flex of it. So whatever you need, it is available over there. So that's how it came into the picture, the flutter flex. And I see that you've been serving as a GDG for a very long time. What are your basic responsibilities? So it's like we started in 2012 with me and another guy called Mr. Paresh Mayani. So we both have the same goal of uh, teaching people of Android, whatever we know, and uh, other technologies. So he applied for and he came to know about the GDG, he applied for it, I joined him. And our main motto is like, so whatever the knowledge that people have. So currently all want to you know, share the knowledge to gain some knowledge. And most of the time, the, all the people have the problem is kind of a similar problem. And that actually wastes the time. So we just, you know, gather that information, gather all the like-minded people, uh, make them, uh, you know, accessible to all the other uh, users available, or the developers, where they can exchange their uh, knowledge and, you know, learn more. Because nobody's perfect at like the end, right? So that was the main motivation behind them, just to enable the people to learn themselves. Any advice for the future GDGs? The future GDGs is a symbol, like, to be more accessible, Whenever any person come to you, just open your arms and you know, accept them or whatever the feedback that you uh, listen it, accept it and try to implement if it is you know, feasible for your community. So it will help them because the person who is coming to you, it has some expectation from you. Any flood of projects that you work in and that you would like to discuss? So uh, earlier I have completed on one for a project, it was a podcast app. Uh, in which the people can request the online podcast and they can hear the podcast. And that podcast is also available in the offline mode, which I uh, developed for iOS. And the next application that I'm going to build is like a learning management system, where it's similar like Udemy or Udacity, uh, where a person can come, log in, pay for particular courses, and they can you know, enjoy the course. And so these are the two projects that you know currently I'm working on. Your top three do's and don'ts for a developer who's starting with Flutter. So for the top three for the do's, for Flutter is like one, you have at least a basic knowledge of Android or iOS. That's the first. Second, if you're starting with the Flutter, read the documentation. Rather than you know going anywhere, first read the documentation. The way they have written is the best thing. And the third, just start implementing it on from the first day. Don't wait for anything. So First thing, know at least one language before the learning flutter. Yeah, and the don'ts are that rather than directly jumping onto the flutter, first understand what actually the flutter is. Try to understand the basics of flutter, how actually it's working on it. Because most of the participants uh, to whom I met uh, when I go to deliver my session on the flutter, they always ask me this question, say, hey, Drumal, I'm actually uh, just a final student or, or I have just started my development. How I can start the flutter? Uh, I have watched the video and I always suggest that hey, rather than di jumping directly to the flutter, first understand what exactly the flutter is. So it will help you to you know learn faster. Otherwise, you will get stuck somewhere. So yeah, that's the thing that you should take care. Your thoughts on Flutter for web? Flutter for web. So I was actually uh, very 
excited about before it gets announced. And it just announced the, the technical preview in this I.O. So still I didn't get a time to explore it, but uh, from the tweets and from the community that I can see is like, it's a very easy. And also the, the core magic, they have also integrated the, uh, for the web build. So I guess it is going to be a rock. Yeah, just looking forward to that. That was a great tip from you, Trumel. Thanks, Dumil. Thanks for being on my channel. And uh, I'm going to leave all your uh, GitHub and your other social networking links on my video. And please do follow him. And uh, thanks for being on my channel. Thank you so much for inviting me and for, you know, talking to me. Uh, I really love to share my feedback on this. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Dumil. Thank, Thank you. you.